Here we have a new 2023 Nissan Pathfinder. And this one comes in the platinum trim level with four wheel drive. Comes in this beautiful obsidian green pearl on chestnut perforated leather interior. And then our powertrain consists of a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. And that gets us 284 horsepower 259 pound-feet of torque so as you come around the front end here of course I really like that since they redesigned it in I think 22 really nice look LED headlamps LED fog lights LED daytime running lights and I just love how the mirror finish goes with this gloss black here it looks really really nice and that's what you expect out of a platinum Now coming around to the wheels here, these are going to be 20 inch aluminum. Really like that design. This kind of has like a multi-spoke look and then when you actually look directly at it, it's got kind of a five-spoke look. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And then I really like how they put this here. Really nice kind of cowhide finish. And then even though this is black, it kind of has like a, a leather feel. And then the rest of this is going to be plastic. But we also get the kind of aluminum finish there. It looks really good. Now over to the window door controls, we have our memory seat functions here. And then we have one touch auto up and down for all four doors. And then we have power folding mirrors, blind spot monitors there and the power mirror controls we can toggle between which one we want to have on and off then we can adjust using these four arrows here and then the door lock controls are pretty small here but they had to fit it in with all this other stuff and then of course we have the rear window locks there now in terms of storage in the door panel pretty good you could fit a a larger bottle there and then you still have a little space in this map pocket and then over to the controls here we can change the brightness of our all digital gauge cluster there and this is for our power lift gate this is for our heads up display toggle information that we can toggle our lane centering or the steering assist what they call it using that button there and I do like we get a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel here And then over here to the driver's side seat here, we get power with power lumbar support and we're gonna get 10-way adjustability for the driver and front passenger along with two-way lumbar support there. And then this one does have the optional roof rack here. And then in the back, I do like that they decided to put the sunshade in here. This is a, especially people with kids, younger kids, you don't realize you need one of these until you need one. So it's nice they put that in here. And I love like two cup holders in here. It's crazy. Little storage here. And then even more space for cup holders or junk, really, in the door panel. They just did a really good job making sure that this was as usable as possible. And love that chestnut interior with the black accents. Now I'm very impressed by the leg room here. I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size. I'm 6'3", and I can fit my feet almost all the way underneath the seat. And the trick is I'm sitting up pretty high, as you can see. Like this is me at eye length, so or eye level. So I'm looking right over the the driver here. And then I still have about an inch of headroom. And then over here we get three stage heated outboard seats, which is nice. And of course we can go through our rear AC controls. I think they're locked from the front though. So you have an auto mode, you can toggle where the air is coming from. And then you can do temperature here, fan speed here. Did a really good job just making that really easy to use. And then we have a USB-C and a USB-A charging port there. And then 
a 120 volt three prong household plug in right there. And I like that we have seat pockets on either side behind the front seats. Nice panoramic sunroof there. And then we have AC vents all throughout the back. And I like that we have the grab handles on all four doors. Let's check out these dome lights. And we do get the yellow dome lights, so I wish those were the white ones, but that's okay. And there's a view of the third row. I'm going to try and fold that up from the back let's see if I can do it and I almost forgot even more cup holders in this center part here storage there so you're not gonna run out of storage in this thing <laughs> and I like that we have the capless fuel filler and that we can click that instead of having to pop the gas cap Let's see how easy this is. We have this in the way, but you just pull up on the strap here on either side. And actually not too difficult. And then you can even lean the seats back more if you want to. And I'm impressed that they actually go back that far. So that's where the seats up. And just to compare, that's where the seat's down. So if you only have room for four or only need room for four people, it's good to have this because you have all that additional trunk space. And then even hidden storage underneath here. I like this cargo tray. Very nice. But there's a view of that futuristic back end there. I really like how they did that. And then tow hitch there. And there's our spare underneath there. And there's the exhaust, if you're curious. Now we're gonna go back to the second row here so I can demonstrate how you can Follow that seat up to easily get to the third row. And then you can also do it from the back as well. And then to put it back, pretty easy, one swift motion. Just requires a little bit of force. And here's that front passenger seat. And I'm about to take a look at the window sticker here. So far, I'm extremely impressed by all of the features that you get on this Platinum. Let's take a look at all the standard features here. And there's your sticker price. And I will say I'm actually quite impressed by the EPA fuel mileage with this thing getting 20 city, 25 miles per gallon highway, seeing as it doesn't have a CVT in it. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. But really love the green. And there's that 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, which is mostly covered up. Nice thud there. Now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat, get out of this cold. So I have this heated steering wheel doing its thing here. 
and this is going to be leather wrapped really like the look but even more i love the padding here and how good the leather feels now over to the radio here this is going to be the upgraded 12 inch version and let's see if we can so i'll start off that's the navigation screen there and we can go to the home page here we can of course customize it and then we have our XM features there when you have the subscription and then you get AM FM XM Bluetooth audio and then you get wireless Apple CarPlay and I believe wired Android Auto according to the sticker but some people might be able to get wireless Android Auto so if you do have one of these let me know in the comments if you get wireless Android Auto or if you have to use the cable so that I can confirm that but I really just love this nav screen it's actually pretty easy to use you can add your home there then you have your settings for everything here including the navigation so just a lot of customization that you can go ahead and do with this so there's a quick rundown of that and there's the backup camera with the 360 bird's eye view Let me show it one more time and there are the guidelines you get them on both cameras as you turn the steering wheel to show you which way you're headed so I always like that and then we have a volume knob here and then we have a track list scroll knob here now down here we do have dual zone automatic climate controls and we can also turn on the rear from back here and we can decide whether they get the control or not and then if we want to control it from up here we can do that and then our heated steering wheel toggle is there and then we also get three stage heated cooled seats for the driver and front passenger and fan speed where the airflow is coming from and then I like we have an auto sync and then we can actually cut it all the way off down here below those controls we have a 12 volt a USB-C and USB-A charging port there and a pretty good size well, I say a very good size wireless charging pad there now to the shifter you just hit the brake hit this button on the left pull down for drive and then you can tap for manual mode and then you can hold up for neutral and then hit the button pull all the way up for reverse press P for park we have a little storage here I like that little pocket pretty big cup holders here in the middle and we have an electronic parking brake pull up to engage and then just hit the brake press down to disengage brake hold here auto stop we can toggle here and then plenty of drive modes we have sand mud rut snow auto eco sport and then a tow mode and that is the same way there in that order so that's your auto mode there and then your modes on either side and then here we have a pretty good size center console cubby space really impressed by that this just has storage galore it really does there's that roof there so one touch open And the power sunshade gotta wait for that to close and then we can one touch shut that as well and there's a view of the back seat from up here I guess you gotta do it twice and I like this it's a pretty deep pocket in here you can actually hide something back here above the glove compartment and then you have a lockable storage there decent size then we do have that 
Bose sound system. And then to the left side of the steering wheel, volume controls, and then we can go through the scroll here. And then we have plenty of animations to choose from, what you want to look at. And then we can go through our volume, track list of radio station presets here. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff you can do here. I'm kind of getting lost. So I'm going to cut that out. Now to the right side of the steering wheel, we can activate our safety shield there. Gap adjust for the adaptive cruise there or intelligent cruise control. And then we have our voice recognition controls here. Then standard functions for the cruise. And then paddle shifters for the nine speed behind the steering wheel. Now I do love the heads up display, just how you have your cruise control stuff on the left and then your speed and your speed limit on the right. I think that's the way it should be done on all the vehicles. Headlamp controls here, auto mode there, blinker, and you can toggle your fog lamps on and off there. And then your windshield wiper controls, you just one, and then auto, low, high, and then you can control your intermittent here, and then your rear wiper there, and you can pull up here for mist, then pull back for rear mist. And there's our push button start. Finally, here's our key fob with remote start. But next, we're going to go ahead and take this 2023 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum out on the road for a quick test drive. So I want to go ahead and confirm. I might have said that this screen was 12 inches and this one was, I didn't say what this was, but this is actually a 12 inch screen. This is a nine inch screen. So sorry for any confusion there. But so far, really love how the Pathfinder handles. Really, really nice drive here. The suspension feels really good. I'm getting feedback without feeling like the ride is rough. And particularly in this Platinum, the seats really help. Really adjustable, really comfortable. Now for this price range, I'm really impressed by how much Nissan was actually able to put in here. The storage is fantastic in the Pathfinder. Of course, you get the Nissan Safety Shield, intelligent cruise control with the lane centering, the heads up display, great picture. Love the digital gauge cluster. That really looks nice. And I just feel like for the most part, they didn't try and skimp as much as I would have expected. Of course, there is a little bit of plastic throughout, especially on the doors. But for the most part, everything seems really premium. So that's the safety shield. And as you can see, it's keeping me in the lines even on this back road so you're not supposed to do that but I just want to show you most vehicles can't even pick these lines up because they're so dim but as you can see it cut off there because it starts to fade even more but yeah really good ride very comfortable minimal road noise even with these 20 inch wheels on here I'm going to put it into sport mode and I'm going to try out these paddle shifters and see if I'm impressed or not. And the shifts are 
pretty good for the most part. Certainly downshifts are very quick. And I actually like the exhaust note. And this V6 is actually pretty peppy. I'm gonna put it into eco mode now. And then I have the safety shield on, eco mode. See if I can find where the fuel mileage is. So right there, we're getting about 26, eh, 27 miles per gallon, it looks like. Just coming down this stretch of interstate. And I'm very impressed just by how the cabin acoustics really do a good job at making sure wind noise is not intruding. It is pretty windy out today. It's not as bad as it could be, but it's got to be going to seven, eight miles per hour. And I'm actually getting more feedback and it's, it's not blowing the vehicle all over the place but just a little bit of feedback because it's windy out here i'm getting more like from the vehicle moving as opposed to the actual sound coming through the window so that's really really impressive but i just love driving aids specifically lane centering and adaptive cruise and this system all in all is just really really capable And honestly, for this kind of money, you get a lot. Really good space. I didn't test out the third row because, but because the third row is so adjustable, I would probably say the room is on the higher end compared to maybe a GMC Acadia or even a Toyota Highlander. So. I'm just really, really impressed overall with Nissan on this new Pathfinder, specifically this Platinum. And I only have a naturally aspirated V6, especially with lower torque numbers. I am surprised by how this gets up, even in eco mode. I don't feel like it's underpowered at all, even with this being a somewhat larger vehicle and I really like that the 9 speed is in here instead of a CVT because the 9 speed does a good job especially having your intelligent four wheel drive and then if you have to tow or haul anything it's nice to have a traditional transmission but with all that being said this is going to bring me to an end of my review of the 2023 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum